Hello again, everybody. This is DJ Armagoth. I am back with Season 2 of Goth's Let's Play. We are starting off with Tomb Raider 2. And... God, these past three weeks have been kind of busy. Uh, basically, the entire reason why I wanted to have a little break for myself, basically was mainly for uh, being able to play games that I actually want to play. <laughs> I mean, I do kind of want to play this, but I mean, games that I'm currently working on, like I'm still playing through Fallout 3, which is technically my second time playing through it. And just a bunch of other stuff. And the entire time, I have been working on, like, music-related things, computer-related things, and art. So it's been kind of... Yeah, just full of... full of everything. <laughs> uh, for this first part of the Let's Play, I'm actually going to, in a way showcase this really great album. It is called Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and it was released on uh, Rebuild Music, which is a smaller label, hardcore mainly, freeform, shit like that. You can find the website at rebuildmusic.info. Or you could follow the DJ who made the al the label, I should say, at SoundCloud under the username Rebuild underscore Music. The links will show up on the bottom. Um, but yeah, show him your support because just putting out this album, it's been like, what did he say, a, a month? maybe two months of really annoying work because the printing company or whatever screwed up on the album art and apparently there's been a bunch of other things that happened too that caused a lot of grief while he's busy doing his own DJing stuff so it's pretty awesome that he still took his time to release this compilation. It just it's three CDs, a bunch of different styles, drum and bass, I think. Uh, UK hardcore, freeform, happy hardcore. Very, very good listen. And even better is that they're all uh, DJ friendly mixes. So they're nice and long. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Um, right now, I am actually checking out... I'm going to try to find the treasure room. Which is really not that difficult to find, but it can be with the butler in the way. So I'm kind of hoping that he's not going to be in my way. But to find the the hidden treasure room, it's actually a little bit of a task, not a lot. Not as bad as in Tomb Raider 3. Actually, that was probably easier, in my opinion, but... <laughs> Up here, there should be some flares. Yep. Kind of screwed up. Uh, the door that just opened is actually timed. And if you pretty much screw up anywhere, you might as well just backtrack. So now I'm just waiting for this 
button to reset. <sighs> so yeah, a bit of waiting. A lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Come on, hit the, hit the, fuck. Hit the button. No, I wasted my flare for nothing then. Hit the button. Button, button. Oh, now it changes. Now there are two ways out of this maze, but the quickest way is to actually go the way that I have been going. make it to that door. Hopefully without the butler. <laughs> Yay! And it's really dark. The treasure room. So much gold! I seriously want to know how the hell she got all this fucking gold. Because that sure as hell did not happen in the first game. Actually, no, that's debatable. That could be... Could be possible, because if you recall the... End of the Atlanta stage or whatever. When the pyramid is... Actually revealed. It's made of pure fucking gold. And I'm talking about the pyramid in the FMV. So... Who knows, maybe it is possible. Still, that would have to require a hell of a lot of smelting. I don't know if you recognize that. It's that cat statue. Oh, shit. Too dark. Yeah, that's pretty much all I really can do for this uh, part of the level. Because there really isn't much other than finding the treasure room. So I guess I'm just going to do what I normally do. So yeah, uh, I'll be back with the actual game in the next video. And again, be sure to actually check out DJ Ali Thumpa, who is the man who made the label. Check out his work, check out his label, all that stuff. And I'll be back in the next video.